Greetings, beloved ones. We come to you today to speak to you of faith. Faith is the sure and certain knowledge that something exists, that something is coming for you. It goes far beyond levels of fear and levels of doubt. It eradicates any aspect of you that says, I desire to have something, and yet I do not, I cannot, I should not, I will not. Faith is what allows you to think for yourself. For you have engaged an aspect of self that speaks to you constantly. You allow yourself to say, ah, yes, there truly is yet another aspect of what I consider to be my personage. Faith is what allows you to have brought to you the desires that you have been given. Understand, beloved ones, that what it is that you desire does not come from a dark and nefarious aspect of self, even if you have predilections, even if you have these seeming addictions. Understand that there is always light within darkness. You have within you, beloveds, the ability to have faith, not only in something that you consider to be outside of you, but the greatest act that you can commit, beloveds, is for you to have faith within your own heart. Faith in the fact that you are indeed a Christed being. Faith in the fact that any desire that you have has been given and granted to you by source itself. Faith in the fact that what you consider to be your darkest and most heinous of thoughts or actions or deeds have been part of the grand scheme of you experiencing all aspects, all 360 degrees. For how could you know the light if you did not know the darkness? And how could you have the darkness be dispelled if you did not have the light? We ask you, beloved ones, to go within and find where it is that you say, I do not have faith. I do not have faith in myself. I do not have faith in humanity. I do not have faith in politicians. I do not have faith in the banks. Whatever it is, wherever it is that you believe that faith is lacking for you, beloveds, make the journey within and find out why is it so important for you to not have faith. And then see if you are willing to have transformation that would allow you to say, ah, I could have faith in this. What does faith truly mean, beloveds? You must understand that you are all masters. You must understand that, that you are all masterful at manifestation. For everything that you have faith in manifests. And sometimes you have faith in the most disastrous situations. And you say to yourself, nothing good ever happens to me. And then you are one who trips and falls. You are one who breaks. You are one who makes mistakes. You are one who loses. Nothing ever seems to go the way that you desire. But you have had faith, beloved, in these beliefs. So we ask you to do the introspection, to find out what have I had faith in. What would I like to have faith in? What is beyond my faith to believe could possibly manifest or occur for me? And watch everything begin to shift and change instantly. It requires the sprinkling of faith. And beloveds, if you do not feel that you have enough faith within you, reach out and ask for an extra portion. Please. Sir, may I have some more? And watch it sprinkled upon you. Watch it pour down upon you. Have faith in love as we have faith in you. 
Have faith in all that you are and watch how far it will carry you. We love you and we will speak with you again.